Greetings folks. In this video, I want to talk about Tim thermal interface material. Now as a fan of tearing down laptops and upgrading the thermal pace, whether it's for maintenance or just better thermal performance, well, it's something that I genuinely enjoy doing. And this is just a small taste of what's in my bag when it comes to just thermal interface material and all of the tools and things that I use to clean off pastes and repaste my laptops. And some of the more popular thermal pastes would be Thermal Grizzly, you know, Cryonaut, of course the tried and true Icy Diamond, although it does tend to scratch the die, so be careful there. No harm in doing that, but just a heads up. The uh, Cooler Master Master Gel, not too bad of a product. And of course the, uh, the Phobia Nano Grease. Now some of these are thicker than others, and the difference in temperatures is really only a couple degrees at best, and a lot of that will have to do with the application. But one thing is for certain, you may get one month out of this paste, you may get 12, but you will most definitely have to replace this at one time or another should you wish to maintain the best thermal efficiency. And that's also why I like to use liquid metal, the Cool Laboratories, uh, Liquid Ultra, Liquid Pro, very nice product here. Of course, the Conducto Not by Thermal Grizzly, probably my favorite thermal interface material and still is to this day, but it's not for everyone. If you do this, you're going to void your warranty. There's a few third-party companies such as, you know, Electronics and HID Evolution that are now offering this for a small fee and still warrantying their work. And that's pretty awesome. But let's say you didn't buy from them, right? And you don't want to keep replacing paste every single year. Wouldn't that be nice to have a fire and forget solution? Well, a little over a year ago, I featured the, uh, the Cool Innovations Graphite Pads. And I tried it on three different laptops, and I will link that video in the description below. But just to save you some time from clicking on it, not a really good product for laptops because we have a GPU and a CPU typically sharing one heat sink, and those graphite pads are a little stiff. So you may have to massage the cooler a little bit. You may have to sand it, do some lapping, tweak the screws, and maybe even have to bend the cooler to get it to sit just right in order for that graphite pad to work. Out of the three laptops that I tried it on, I got it to work on one, and that was the uh, Acer Predator G5793, I believe it was. And I had to take that cooler off and put it back on and tweak it just right an absurd amount of times. It was insane to finally get it to work. Not a good quality of life. So, Carbonaut. This is a newer product. It came out late 2019, at least as far as I am uh, recalling. And it is... It's like a piece of cloth. Now it's electrically conductive, so you have to be careful. But it is, it, picture like a silk cloth that just wraps around anything. It is that soft, it is paper thin, and it cuts very easily, as you can see here. Now, over the last five weeks, I have been using the Carbonaut on the Aero 15. And what's interesting about the Aero 15 and the Mag 15 is that on your CPU die, it's in the shape of a rectangle. In a perfect world, we would have the mounting solution. It would have four different points. It would have four different screws for the ideal um, pressure of mounting to, in order to get that cooler to sit nice and flush and flat as possible with the die. That's difficult to do when you're running a tri-screw solution that we have on both of these laptops. Furthermore, the heatsink is shared between the CPU and the GPU, and you're going to have uh, further discrepancies because there's a lot of uh, copper that's going to be spread across the PCB on two different dies. And if it's not perfect, which it rarely ever is, it's really hard to get what's called good core uniformity. And what does that mean? Okay, we have six core CPUs in both of these laptops. And more often than not, you're going to have a five or a 10 degree differential between the hottest core and the coldest core. That really stinks. In fact, I've seen the Alienware 13 have as much as 20 degrees Celsius difference. Now, in a perfect world, we would look at the coldest core and wish we could get all the cores that cool, but it just doesn't work that way. Your best solution is always going to be liquid metal, and it doesn't always work on every laptop. On some of those Alienware machines, they were so bad, it wasn't really worth doing. Some people got lucky. That's a whole nother story. So I went with the Carbonaut because I wanted to see 
What was so special about it? I wasn't expecting amazing thermal performance, and it's not really any better than the traditional high-end pastes. That's not why I made this video. What I like about the Carbonaut is it's reusable. That's right, I can literally take this off of my machine 10 years down the road. I'm not kidding, this is supposed to last forever, and put it on something else, right? It's basically a piece of cloth or a piece of paper, so it's not gonna move, it's not going to spill out, it is electrically conductive, so it is important that you get it cut the right size so it's not spread out over the die and hitting any contact points, but it offered amazing core uniformity. And I gotta tell you something, five weeks of using it with the arrow, it hasn't faltered once, and I take this laptop with me everywhere. It hasn't fallen out, it hasn't slipped out, no problems with it at all, and the core uniformity compared to stock was amazing. But here's where it gets really fun. I took the mag apart late last week, right? And I cut out the Carbonaut, I set it on the die, and I screwed the cooler down all the way. Like, I didn't even care. I wasn't worried about making it fit just right. I just went through all the numbers, one through seven screws, I believe it was, screwed it down, put the three screws in on the fan, put the thing together, and said the heck with it. Why? Because I think that's what a lot of people are gonna do, right? A lot of people that are brave enough to take their laptop apart are just gonna clean off the thermal interface material, cut the carbon not to fit, set it on there, and away they go, right? They're not gonna take the time to dial it in, because that's a lot of work. They're just gonna screw it all the way down and let's see what happens. It worked. It worked very, very well. Now, I'm not saying that this is gonna be a better cooling thermal interface material, not at all, but the core uniformity, the balance from the hottest core and the coldest core being between one to three degrees Celsius, typically from what I have seen over the five weeks with this, and honestly, maybe just the two or three days with the MAG-15, but it's been very consistent and I was sloppy with the installation here, as I think that would result in a worst case scenario, right? If we had 100 people doing this, 90 of you are probably gonna put it together that way, whether you know better or not, it's probably what's gonna happen, and it worked out really good. Now, I can't promise you that this is going to work good for you, but it's worked great on the arrow for five weeks now. It's got a three-screwed mounting solution, not ideal at all, and then when I put it on the mag, I did it without really giving a crap, right? I just put it on there like a savage man, put it all together, and it worked as well. We have great core uniformity. The thermal performance isn't any better or worse than it is with the you know, typical thermal interface material. And I would love to retest this on a laptop that has zero thermal throttling issues. And while I have those laptops here, I do not have permission to take them apart. So this was the best test I could do. The Aero 15 over five weeks, the Mag 15 over a couple of days, the core uniformity is fantastic, and it's supposed to last forever. Now, a package like this here very small um, cloth piece of carbonate that's in there is only going to cost you about 20 bucks and you know a tube of this cryo knot here which honestly will last me one or two years probably costs 30 or 40 dollars right but this would get you one package of this get you a gpu and a cpu cooled on a laptop and maybe enough left over to do a CPU on another. So I did have to buy two of these in order to get all the material necessary for the arrow and the mag, but it kind of works. And I like this because it's easy to apply and it just makes sense to me on a laptop. This is how I wanted the graphite pad to work, but it just was too stiff, I felt like, to work good on these cooling solutions based on the way they're designed. Manufacturers, I know some of you are watching this, right? You find some of my content interesting, great. Listen to what I'm about to say here. Experiment with this because this will be a really unique solution to offer your customer and now they don't have to take up their cooler off of the PCB, the GPU, CPU, all that can stay intact because this should last forever. It's very consistent. And I don't know, I think it would just look good for you guys that you're offering Thermal Grizzly Carbonaut 
from the factory, much like the Aero 15 did for their chassis refresh featuring Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut, I would go with this. It's supposed to last forever. And think about this, you know, you're, you're in your manufacturer setup and all you gotta do is just stamp these things out and your workers can just literally grab them with their clean gloves on, set it on there, place the cooler down. It's, it's not messy at all. If you get this by the bulk, it should be pretty cheap. It's gonna last forever. I don't know, seems like a pretty good idea or don't. And my viewers can go out there and do it for themselves. All right, folks, that's going to do it. I'm very impressed with this product, and I'm going to put some more time into it, perhaps apply it to a few other laptops. That's going to do it for now. I'm Bob of All Trades. Slap that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.